Bowman here from BW1.com. We're going to do another Windows 8 tip here. We're going to take a look at the brand new task manager. So to access a task manager, easiest way is to be in desktop mode like we are here. Right click on the taskbar and click on task manager. Comes up here and this is what you presented with the first time you loaded up here. Very simple task manager, easy to kind of navigate around. You want to end tasks, you just have to right click to get to all the typical options that you're used to. So if you want to close PC settings and tasks just like that. But when you click on more details, boom, you get a plethora of more details. We're actually going to maximize this here so we can get a huge look at it, big look at it here. And you can see now you can get a lot more deeper details. So when you're in the more basically the advanced settings here, you can see you get CPU usage for each one of the applications. Um, memory, disk space, um, and disk usage in space, and networking as well to how much networking bandwidth is using. And they have it laid out between apps, background processes, and I think if you scroll the way down here to the bottom, you'll see Windows processes as well too. So they have it broken down into nice groups, easily access different information you may need. And you can easily right click over anything and tasks. You can check the resource values and you can change those as you want to. You can create a dump file, go to details, open the file location where that particular uh, background process is running, search online for more information, get the properties of that particular um, application running as well, too. You have another tab here for performance, which gives you CPU performance. RAM performance. You can see what disks are doing if you're just transferring stuff around, doing a backup, or transferring large data between your hard drives on your system. You can get your uh, Ethernet usage as well, too. That's all your networking, internet, all that stuff coming through there. You can see what that's like as well. Gives you some you know, utilization to, as far as CPU usage, utilization, maximum speed, uptime, things like that. See here at the bottom gives you some um, information also about the uh, sort of the connectivity, DNS name, and things. So that's pretty cool. Head over to RAM, gives you more information as well, too. So you can see right there, pretty informative tab. Next is your app history, so you can go through and see what, how, what apps you've used, how much you've used them, and such. You can give you actually a meter network if you're, if you're um, over a meter connection and how much of that is actually used. Uh, CPU time, tiles update, to how much data is used for a certain live tiles like finance, games, Netflix, and such. Go to start up here. This is where your applications that are start uh, that are allowed to start up in your system are at. And you can enable or disable them easily by just going right here, saying you want to disable. Now that's disabled from starting up, and you can re-enable it just like that as well too. Go to user settings here. It actually um, shows you all the applications that are happening per user. So this is what's loaded up as far as what I'm running and processes that I'm running on a user level basis. Yeah, pretty cool. CPU usage, memory, disk, network, all simple stuff. Open that up again there as you can see. Get more details, deeper details on each one of the uh, applications that are running, services, and stuff like that. And it's the services where you can tweak these as well too. So as you can see here, this is far deeper than what it used to be, especially in this section right here where there's CPU usage, memory. I really do like the fact the way this is laid out. You get a real quick synopsis of everything. Ethernet as well too. Just a real quick look at it. You can access the resource monitor if you want to right from there. Open that up for a little more detail. And your processes really makes it easy. So the task manager, while at first a few details looks relatively simple. But when you hit that more details, you get so much more information and much more in depth than even past versions of Windows Task Manager. So this is definitely something to look at and to check out. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you to subscribe to our YouTube page here. Follow us on Twitter. Become a fan of our Facebook fan page. Leave any comments, questions, concerns that you have below. Also check us out on our main website at BW1.com. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.